Let's do our warm ups and some gentle hip work today. So, feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, sitting bones down, ribs in and up, shoulders back and down, arms just relaxing, and stretch your crown toward the ceiling. Take a few moments just doing your inner focus, getting into your yoga perspective. And then inhale, arms up, shoulder level, stretch out, but keep your shoulders down. Exhale, hands to your heart, stretch out to the front, and then exhale, hands again behind you, clasp them and press down, and lift your heart. Take a moment, stretching your head back, and as you exhale, pivot over. Move your chin around, get your neck releasing, hands up toward your head, getting those shoulders doing a little work. And lift your sitting bones, bring those backs of the legs as straight as you can to get a good stretch. And then bend your knees slightly, come on all the way back up and lift your heart. Stretch your head back, spread your toes out, press your hands down and feel that chest open. And then inhale, upright, release your arms. Take a moment, just feel a little bit more stimulation through your spine. And again, arms reaching out, hands to your chest, stretch to the front, and clasp your hands the opposite way behind you, so it shifts the fingers one position over. Lift your heart, stretch your head back, and then again, exhale over. Sitting bones up, hands toward your head, chin moving around, and then knees slightly bent, working your way from the bottom of the spine all the way up into the back bend. So take a moment as you get there, just stretching into the back bend, lifting your heart. Inhale, upright, release your arms. Take a moment again, just noticing what's going on internally. And we'll get ready for our side stretch. So let's keep one hand down, the other arm out. Palm toward the ceiling, hand up. And stretch the hands away from each other. Lean to the side, no twist, so don't lean forward. And push the foot you're leaning away from down. So feel those ribs get a little stretched apart. And then inhale back up, release that arm. Take a moment feeling the difference, noticing how that's different on both sides now. And bring the other arm out, palm to the ceiling, hand over your shoulder. Push the hands away, lean to the side. And again, make sure you're not leaning forward or backward, just straight to the side as you push the foot down for that extra rib opening as you reach your hand away. Inhale up and release. And again, take a moment feeling the sides a little bit more open. And then really open the spine for our twist. So arms at shoulder level, palms up, hands over your shoulders, and clasp your elbows. Bring your arms next to your ears, sitting bones down, base of the skull up, and turn to the side. Take a breath and keep the weight on both feet as you come over into that forward position in your twist. Arms by your ears, sitting bones lifting, and slowly in the twist, work your way up. And as you get to the top, lift your heart and make sure your low back isn't overworking. So upper body only back bend, shoulders down, elbows back. Inhale, upright, exhale around to the center and switch your arms around. And again, stretch and straighten and exhale into the twist. Take a breath, exhale over. And just deepen as much as you'd like on this side, relaxing. Spread your toes, keep the weight on both feet and work your way back up. Lift your heart. Drop your shoulders, and again, upper body only back bend. <clears throat> Stretch those elbows back and away. Inhale upright, exhale around to the center, 
Bring your arms up, shoulders down, extended mountain. Take a moment and breathe. Stretch up on one side, come up on the opposite toe, lifting the heel. So the side you stretch stays flat. Get those ribs stretching again. Exhale down, do the other side. And again, get a good stretch. And then both heels down, both arms up. Stretch it out. Keep your arms next to your ears, shoulders, shoulder blades towards your waist. Core activated. Pivot at your sitting, uh, sitting bones and hip bones. And stretch out flat to the floor. And then drop into ragdoll. Take a moment and breathe. Just relaxing. Lift your sitting bones. And maybe pull in deeper with your hands behind your legs. Stretch the back of your body. And then arms back to the center. And wind your way back into mountain pose. Take a moment as you get there, just feeling that sensation through your body. And then arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands over your shoulders, arms next to your ears. Keep the shoulder blades, shoulders toward the waist, and the crown and fingertips up. Bend your knees, not beyond your toes, coming into your chair position squat. So sitting bones way back behind you. Arms still next to your ears, spine straight. Sitting bones back, crown forward, stretch it out. And then lift your hips and drop your arms down into ragdoll. And straighten your legs. Take a moment there. And then arms next to your ears, squat again, bringing your sitting bones way back. Remember, no pushing those knees beyond your toes. And then lead with your fingertips back all the way up. And release your arms. Back in mountain pose, just take a moment feeling what's going on in your body. And let's do our pelvic tilt. So angle the toes out. Bend your knees toward, not beyond your toes. Hands positioning above your knees, not pressured. And shoulders right above your toes. So spine starts nice and straight. And then make it a back bend. So inhale, pulling that chest forward, ribs down, walking to the front. And keep your shoulders above your toes still. And then tuck the sitting bones down and forward, ribs coming in and looking down. So the whole spine gets a nice stretch, but so does that whole pelvic area. So inhale, pushing it back and out. And exhale, tucking it down and forward. And just a few times going through your spine motion and pelvic motion, getting that hip area starting to warm up a little bit more. And then the next time you're forward, pause and come back up into mountain pose. Take a moment, feeling that hip area a little warmer. And don't forget to breathe. And then step your feet a little wide and turn the toes slightly out. And we're going to again do a little squat. So coming down straight with your upper body with the knees going toward but not beyond your toes, just sinking into that. First riding position. And then straighten your knees. And then bring the arms out and palms overhead crossing. And come on down into the squat and cross the other way in the front. Inhale up, arms crossing, legs straight. Exhale and sink down. Cross the other way. Inhale up. Exhale down. Breathe with it. Just slowly working, letting those knees and hips get a little work, along with your arms, just gently. And then coming down into the squat, bring your arms to shoulder level, palms down, turn the palms up, and come into goddess position, elbows bent, fingertips to the ceiling. Take a moment, make sure you're straight up and down, not leaning forward or back. 
just straight up and let those legs do a little work. And then straightening, arms out, releasing back into mountain pose. Take a moment and breathe. Tension out. Focus inward. And let's do a little, oh, let's do a little frog squat. So angle your toes out. And again, we're going to go knees toward your toes, not beyond. Exhaling, just bend your knees, bring your hands down to your knees, and then inhale, stand up, hands to your hips. And you can continue at this gentle version, if that's good for you. Or you can go exhaling all the way to the floor, bending those knees again, not beyond your toes. So remember, push the sitting bones away back, spread your toes, and then inhale back up, hands to your hips. Exhale down. Remember, do what's right for your body. So if only going to your knees is where you need to be, and then coming back up with the knees straight and the hands to your hips, that's good or going all the way to the floor and coming back up. And you can keep doing it slowly. Or if you like, you can make it an accelerated version, just breathing down and inhaling up. And making it faster, if you like. Going down and up, getting a little warmer, if that's working for you today. Or you can do it still slowly because we do what's right for our bodies each day, doing what's right for our choice. And then coming back up, turn your toes to the front and release your arms back into mountain pose. Take a moment, feeling a little more energized perhaps, a little bit more warmed up through the hips and bring your hands to your heart. Inhale, <clears throat> hands to the ceiling, thumbs back, lifting your heart, a nice back bend. Let's swan dive forward, arms out, pivot forward, drop into ragdoll. Hands up under your knees for our halfway up stretch. Elbows, knees, and spine straight, including that back of your neck. And then bend your knees, come to the floor, into our child pose transition. Hips back down on your heels, or toward the heels. Hands, palms up, forehead toward the floor. Take a moment to breathe. <clears throat> and then inhale, and bring your hands out to the front. Coming up, knees hip width apart, toes straight back. Wrists, elbows, and shoulders lined up. And then we're going to bring the hands forward and the elbows down to the floor. And then bring your elbows out toward the sides of the mat. And then bring your knees out to the sides of the mat. We're doing our frog swim. So push your hips back toward your heels. Get as low to the floor as you can go. And then push forward. Keep your body close toward the floor as you go. So sinking back, hips toward heels, stretching through the shoulders, and then sliding forward, hips low toward the floor as much as you can, getting that whole hip and pelvic area, getting a little bit more warmed up. So sliding back and forward, just at your own pace, breathing with it. Letting everything relax. And the next time you're pushed back, bring those elbows in. Come up a little bit on your knees back in. Slide up and back into child pose. Forehead down. If you want to bring your knees together, you'll get a little more stretch on the back of your body. And on an inhalation, sit on up and come into staff position. So sitting bones behind you slightly. Remember, you can pelvic tilt a little bit with that cushion behind you. Press out through your heels, toes up, and warm up the hips a little bit more. So bring one foot up to the other leg and let the knee come down toward the floor. 
So remember, we may be tight after sitting a lot in an airplane or car, as we often do. So just go ahead and relax. We're at that sewing machine. Whatever you're doing, just go ahead, let that knee come down. If it's tight today, remember you can bring the leg over, knee and toes still up. So just add weight of your hand if you like, but not pressure, no pushing. You just wanna let that whole leg release, relax, and go toward the floor, maybe a little bit more. And then bring your foot and knee into your hands or wrap your arms around and pull it in for a little rotation side to side, working that outside of your hip a little bit more, lubricating it. Bring it higher if you like or not, your choice. And then releasing that, bring the leg back out Feel the difference in your hips. So we're going to, of course, balance it out. Foot up, knee down, and again, just relax. Letting it come down or bringing this leg over to the side. Keep the knee and toes up, whichever version you're doing. A little extra weight if you like or not. Remember, personal practice. Never push, though, because that just resists and makes it tighter. So just let it relax, just exhaling any stress, any tightness. And again, as it gets a little closer toward the floor, maybe just relax a little bit more. Remember, it's incremental. Let it happen. Don't force it. And then flip the knee into your hands or pulling the leg in. Go side to side with this hip. And again, just notice how it's working today. Higher or closer if you love it or not, always personal practice. And once again, releasing that, bring the leg out and we'll do our butterfly, knees out toward the sides, coming toward the floor. Just relax, pulling those heels in as close as they want to go. Bring your hands back under your shoulders, fingertips or palms down, whatever works for you. Just a little pressure in your hands, lengthening through that whole rib cage and spine, and letting maybe those knees come a little further down, angling the bottoms of your feet a little bit up. Feel that inner thigh, maybe get a little bit more stretch. Just relax. Exhale tension. And then hands back to the center. Slide the toes out a little bit. Bring your hands under your legs and put your palms on your tops of your feet. Straighten your spine and stretch. And then exhale, bring your chest, chin down toward your feet, maybe a little bit more. So head is reaching away, sitting bones back. And just pivot as much as your legs want to get a little stretch. And then releasing your hands, sitting back up, lift your knees and bring the legs out to the front. Take a moment there, breathe in, just relaxing. And let's go back up into table position and do our pigeon pose. So knees under your hips, wrists, elbows and shoulders lined up. Take a moment and breathe. We're gonna slide that right knee forward and bring the knee out toward the side of the mat. Bring the foot up toward your hands. And then slide that left leg back. So we're getting a stretch on the front of that left thigh, hip flexor. And we're getting a little work in that right hip bent area at the hip rotator. So take a moment there and bring your chest forward and your hips evenly down toward the floor. And if that feels good, just stay there and relax. And those hips, hip bones will come further toward the floor. Or if you want a little easier practice, bring your hands down forward and your elbows under your shoulders. And let that whole lower body sink a little bit more. Chest slightly forward, looking slightly forward, but remember, don't crunch the back of your neck too much. So everything's stretching through your spine. Take a breath, just let those hip bones come evenly down, whether you've got your hands on the floor or your elbows down. 
Take a moment, just breathing, shoulders and shoulder blades, whichever position you're in toward your waist. Chest forward, hips sinking, just letting that whole hip area get a little bit more relaxed so it can sink even deeper. And then if your hands are forward, go ahead and slide them back under your shoulders, chest forward. Those of you who are 19-year-old gymnast cheerleaders, bend your foot and put your head on your foot behind you. And that's a little bit more intense than I go. Take a moment and breathe. Shoulders, shoulder blades down. And then putting a little pressure in your hands, slide your knee back and pull the other one up. And sink back into an extended child. Drop your forehead. Wisdom pose. Take a breath. Just relax. Feel the hip releasing. Just relax it. And then again, slide up into your table position. Keep that core activated. And again, we're going to do our pigeon. So bringing the knee up and over to the side, bringing the foot closer to your hand. So the left knee is up and then sliding to the side of the mat. And then the right leg slides back, bringing that hip down toward the floor. Take a moment there with the hands under your shoulders and the chest slightly forward, stretching through your spine letting the hips evenly drop toward the floor or coming into your slide forward with the hands position, elbows down, giving yourself a little bit more exhaling release into the position. Chest forward, crown slightly up in whichever position you're in. Just relax those hip bones down evenly toward the floor. Take a moment and breathe. If you're all the way up on your hands, and you want a little more intensity, you can keep working that foot into a more shin perpendicular to your body position, keeping that knee way out to the side as you do it. Chest forward, shoulders down, and crown thighs. Sink those hip bones down. And then bringing your hands back under your shoulders again, if they aren't, and going into your extreme king pigeon with the head and hand foot foot together if you like. Take a breath and just relax. And then hands on the floor, pressing gently into them, bring that front knee back and the back knee up. And again, sink into your wisdom pose. Take a moment and breathe. Exhale, tension. And inhale, sitting up into staff position. So let's do our diving dolphin as our last hip and spine work for the day. So bring the right foot to the inner left thigh, knee out to the side. Bend your left knee, foot near your left hip, but not under it. Keep that hip up so we can twist. So go ahead and stretch the spine apart, exhaling, turning toward your right knee. Hands on your leg or floor, tucking your chin, Rounding your back, exhaling under as you dive. And then face forward, lifting the heart to the ceiling, coming back up with a little back bend and down with your exhalation forward bend. And inhale all the way up. Working your spine, working your hips as you choose. So just a few rotations through that working everything, and as you reach the top again, pause and exhale back to the center and release your legs back into staff position. So we can, of course, dive our dolphin the opposite way. Foot to your inner thigh, heel back near your hip, stretch your spine apart, exhale, hips, ribs, and shoulder turning toward the left leg. Again, ribs in, chin tucked and dive under on the exhalation. Inhale, face forward, lift that chest as you come back up, inhaling to the sun in the sky. You're the dolphin diving under and leaping up, 
Just feeling your whole spine and hip area working for your body today. Breathing into it, just relaxing and enjoying your short position practice with your dolphin. And again, coming back up, exhale to the center, releasing into staff position. Bring your feet to the end of the mat and slowly exhaling to the floor for a final relaxation. Take a breath and just relax, letting your whole body sink into that surface beneath you. Move your hips around a little bit. Just relax that lower back and belly, toes toward each other, and then just relax your legs. Hands, palms up, letting those shoulders sink to the floor, coming into court position for our final relaxation. Soften your belly, just breathing with it. Exhaling, letting your body grow heavy and sink deeper into that earth support beneath you. And just let your body soften and sink with each breath, deepening into that earth embrace and let your body go, relaxing completely. And as your body relaxes, just allow your mind to release as well, letting go of your body, letting go of your thoughts. No need to remember the past or anticipate the future. Just let the content of the thoughts go without awareness, floating like your breath, disappearing beyond the horizon, just relaxing completely, allowing your body to soften and your mind to float, breathing with it, deepening into that earth embrace, and letting your mind release. Focusing inward, finding only the peace deep within. Breathing peace and being peace. And if you feel super relaxed and want to keep relaxing today, take the time you have. If it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, just begin breathing a little more deeply, drawing energy and awareness back to the moment, <clears throat> to the room, to your body. As you breathe more fully, stretch your body more completely as well. Stretching your arms and shoulders, legs and hips, however feels good for you. Maybe circling your ankles too. And as you breathe and stretch, when you're ready for that final yoga hug of appreciation, bring your sitting bones to the heels and your heels toward your hips. Draw your knees up toward your heart. Wrap your arms around. Give yourself that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today, the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, head and feet to the floor, rolling to the side, sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.